Hi! Hey, I want to show you quickly how to cover a round bar stool. You may be so tired of looking at your bar stools, the tops are falling apart, whether it's a fake leather or kind of low, uh, low cost vinyl. Whatever the top is, you need to redo them. So here's the before and you can tell these are a disaster. So we're going to get those all fixed up for her and it's really not that hard. So very quickly, I'm going to try to show you how to cover this bar stool top that's round and that presents some problems, but you can do it. And you'll be so happy when you can look in your kitchen or your dining room or your den or wherever and say, hey, I did that. So let's get productive here at least one evening of this um, continuing isolation a little bit. But what happened was some of it, it, the edge is too, the foam did not cover the edge. You really need to plop your wood down on top of your foam and draw a line around here and cut your foam out a half inch bigger than the wood. So she didn't really do that. We're gonna make up for that. I'm not gonna waste this foam. So I'm gonna make up for that with some cotton batting. And another thing, another little trick I did, I'll show you underneath here, I went ahead and added a little circle of cotton batting in the center so that foam is not so flat. It kind of looks rounded and makes it look a little bit richer. Okay, what you're gonna need for the project is I've got some spray adhesive for foam. I've got scissors, which I cut my vinyl with. I've got some little pincher pliers and I've got a staple lifter and an electric stapler. Now, let me just tell you, I am at the bottom of the barrel with my pneumatic staplers. Every single one of them needs repair and I have to drive over to Cincinnati to drop them off. So I'm using an electric stapler that's really good and powerful, but it's very heavy. The staplers you get at the hardware store, which is what my friend was trying to use, are very difficult. So if you have an upholstery stapler, it'll make the job a lot easier. This takes 3 8 inch crown width staples. They're different than those big, fat, chunky staples. And once you get the hang of this, you'll see why it matters. Okay, so I have the little bit of cotton inside of there. The foam, I tried to uh, spray some adhesive around the edge and push that down. That won't stay down until I get the final fabric on top. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put this cotton batting on top of here. And since that edge is a little bit cut out, we're gonna just let that overlap a little bit, not too much. And with this cotton batting, you simply pull it apart. You never cut it with scissors. And I can reuse part of that. You can get this from an upholstery supplier and you don't have to use the cotton. You can also use the polyester Dacron you get at Joanne, or again, you can order upholstery grade. So this is kind of ready to go. The thing about these stool tops is that the wood sits down inside of a kind of a lipped um, swivel top. So we don't want padding to go over that bottom wood edge. Okay, here we go. I cut a piece of vinyl. And I'm just going to center that the best I can. Flip it over. Now, as, you, as I'm stapling this, you're gonna see that it takes a lot of strength and you can, if you, if you get intimidated by the vinyl, then you're probably gonna have some wrinkles in it. You have to just know that the vinyl surface is stretchy and if you can stretch that and pull it tight enough, you will smooth out the wrinkles. Now you may need to make some adjustments, which you'll see how I do, but you have to know that you can take charge of this, all right? So here's, I'm gonna, Give you the gist of it. I will put a few staples here, then I'm going to pull it and tighten it up really tight and get a few staples in directly across from that. Next, I will go to one side and I'll do the same thing on that side. Now, the big trick is easing it in between those staples and those staples. You've got this much space, you're going to have a lot more vinyl, 
So you have to figure out how to ease that extra vinyl in around that curve. And that is the tricky part about doing circles. All right, so I'm just gonna button it up and show you how to do it. You want to staple it back about an inch from the edge. You don't want it stapled right up to the edge. All right, so now I've got that set. I'm going to give it a push to tighten. Whoops, popped it right through. All right, well, we'll try that again. That happens. I pulled that too hard. So see how I'm leveraging that? I'm gonna smush it and pull it. Now I'll come to one side. in this sort of this no man's land here so I'm gonna go ahead and split it like split the difference pull that corner completely tight across there Okay, everything's set. Now, this is too much to deal with, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off. You don't wanna cut it too short because you need to be able to pull, but this is way too much. is split those differences again and again and then as it comes closer there'll be little tiny wrinkles I'll have to smooth out. You see how that right there, you just tug it back and that vinyl will stretch and flatten out.
if you look at this, when there's wrinkles back here, that's not a problem. It's when it's wrinkled right along that edge that will cause the problem. So I'll still come back and smooth this out a little bit, but you don't want to have the wrinkle on the edge. Another trick would be if you would have a hairdryer, you can blow the hairdryer on here and soften that up and then tug on it. And that's, <clears throat> that smooths out, <clears throat> sorry, that smooths out a lot of the wrinkles. See, I'm having a little problem right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Do that again. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, this is bugging me, all this vinyl, so I'm just gonna trim some of this back. Okay, we're down to the last three little sections here. very physical craft. It's a good workout. Uh-oh, a big wrinkle right there. See how it just smooths out when you tug and pull and kind of massage it like that? Thank you. 
that's it right there. To trim this up shorter. down inside the the stools this uh, these little pleats that are back here of course they're not going to show but they are a little bit stiff so you can come back and just staple some of those down so it's flatter the other thing I want you to remember there are bolt holes here for where the, the bolts go into the stool so you want to keep those uncovered you don't want the vinyl to go over there and the other thing is it's smart to number the stools and the seat tops so that they go back on the right stools. Sometimes things don't fit like they're not all going to fit the same. I have to quickly do this and then I'm going to show you the set. That's good. Okay, ordinarily, I would put a dust cover on the bottom of here, but I'm not gonna do that because we've gotta get that those screwed in there like that. Those are the bolt holes. And I just don't think it's worth it to put that on there and have it sit down inside of the base. I don't have the bases, so I don't know how they fit. Okay, so there is brand new vinyl covered stool. And wait one second. I thought I had those over there, but I didn't. So here's her new stack of stool tops. And if there's the little tiny bit of wrinkle around the edges, that's gonna sit down inside of the stool. So it, it depending on the vinyl you get, it can look like leather. This doesn't look bad at all. And that was it. You can save yourself a lot of money by doing that yourself. But I will say that if you use fabric on this, when you get to the diagonal on the fabric as you're pulling, it's going to stretch a lot more. So just know that and know that your hands, the strength of your hands and your determination is going to get it done. Okay. Now I feel like I accomplished something today.